couple of years ago, we came to a mass tourism that flooded our country. The culture was not respected. Our waters was polluted. Our sources were destructed. And that is why the initiative came about. The Plets is the children of Palau's hope for their future. I grew up exploring Palau. My father was just kind of that of a person, very spontaneous, very nature-oriented. Well, I grew up in this village, uh, up in the hill. My father moved here because he became chief. I grew up at a time when, you know, we didn't have uh, a lot of the technology that we have today. And uh, one of the things that we did is that we go out to the reef and we swim and we do some fishing. So that was a lot of our activity. Palau is my motherland. It's my identity. It's a beautiful, peaceful home. I remember how the women would start teaching me about medicinal herbs, natural medications, and I would follow them in the forest and in the wetlands. Protection of this natural resource is really embedded in our culture. It's in our language. The words that we use to describe our relationship to the environment is all about protection, the responsibility of protection, of using it with respect. In Palau, uh, we've always depended on our ocean, our coral reefs. When you talk about supporting management and conservation, it's easy for Palauans to grasp that. I remember we used to go up to the other villages by boat. You could take half a day, maybe even a day. We've gone from that to driving around the island in the span of 30 years. A lot of things have changed. We've been thrust into this world where we're moving at 300 miles an hour. We noticed that there was a big disconnection of the people and the nature that surrounds them in Palau. And that was a little disturbing as a Palauan person because we've always valued that connection. When we were growing up, you know, we didn't have a lot of competition with nature and now the kids uh, have so many things, internet and video game and things like that. I think their connection with the environment is not as strong as before, so that's one of the big challenges. The world is moving very fast, so trying to hold on to this world is difficult. The life that we live here is actually a sustainable life. We're trying our best to eliminate all trash. Everything is made from organic materials. We're trying to eliminate all plastics, and we're using reusable utensils. Palau should feel and look like what the Palauans believe it is. We can definitely set the stage so that what we're teaching becomes how we're thinking about who we are. I think education is very important. The kids need to understand what they have and what is at risk. Because if they don't, very quickly it can be lost. It's a reciprocal relationship between human and nature. That's what we're teaching. How to balance that relationship. How to use it in harmony. We need to educate the tourist party. It's a two-way street. You can't expect somebody who doesn't know anything about your island to adhere to your rules. It takes a lot of education on our part too. We're a small island, but we want to also be influencing things. I think it's time that we stop being on the other side of that spectrum. Whatever we have, we should use that for good. It's about us understanding what we have, and for the tourists coming to see that we actually love and care for this place. Because I think once they see that, they will know they have to preserve it. I travel all over the world and I'm always looking forward to coming back to Palau, to this place. I cannot imagine myself anywhere else. Come to Palau, enjoy Palau, learn from it, respect that it has a life of its own. And if you can, do something to give back. Approach nature knowing that it has its own spirit. 
in Palawan language we say, "Atao bangaringi engal." Engal is the spirit. Anyak bangaringi has life. Go to the villages, see the people, and really try to have a deeper understanding of what Palau is and what the people of Palau and their culture. Our unique culture that makes us Palauans, we want to pass that on to our children and their children. And the only way to do that is to make sure that our environment and our identity and our culture is protected for Palau to live on.